Hello, my silent warriors. Um, I decided, sorry, let's fly, um, to go ahead and do a video on vision. And um, I know that hasn't been asked for, but I decided to go ahead and do one on like things that happen in our vision because a lot of crazy stuff has happened to me and like I, scary stuff. So like uh, dealing with my vision. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about that. Um, uh, so here we go. Uh, basically vision, you can get blurry vision, you can get shaky vision, you can get, uh, where your eyes feel kind of strained. Um, I'm wearing my reading glasses right now because, um, these actually help me sometimes when I'm having anxiety, uh, because I, I really don't know. I've been having anxiety this morning. Um, don't exactly know why, but it's, I know that it's been happening. Uh, um, okay. Anyway. I've been having the breathing issues really bad today. Um, but, uh, so, uh, like I said, like I was talking about my glasses help me because I see kind of blurry sometimes and, or, uh, I'm, it's just that I'm getting older. You know, of course the whole with age, you start not to be able to see so well. I used to have like a better than 2020 vision when I was younger and the older I'm getting, the more it's becoming, obvious that I'm getting older, I guess. But anyway, uh, but, uh, especially for some reason, don't know exactly why, um, bright lights, well, bright lights tend to affect me. Um, when I see things too brightly, like the bright lights, like even like the sun, like let's say I have like the kitchen, um, what do you call it? Um, window the blinds are like a little bit open in the morning or something when the sun's coming up or whatever and like the sun is kind of like there's a ray of sunshine coming in which should be beautiful and great but for me it freaks me out um whenever i go out and the sun is too bright there's too much um sunshine um i start having anxiety because um my eyes are real sensitive to light I don't know why. Um, I did notice that it is something common amongst people that suffer from anxiety. So, um, yeah, I do happen to have that issue where um, everything is, like, too bright. I don't know how to explain it. It's, like, way too bright. I start where I can't see right. It's, like, everything is, like, blinding. And uh, that happens to me periodically. Uh, today it happened to me today because the sun is shining so horribly today. And... Uh, I live in Texas, so whatever, but it's like all bright and sunshiny and like clear. I mean, it's a beautiful day. Don't get me wrong, but like it's, um, but it does affect me. So I have to like not, I have to look certain directions. I've learned how to do things. Um, that's one thing dealing with the eyesight deal. Um, um, I have personally also, this has happened to me three different times. Um, I've actually had where, um, this is so scary, but I had where I went completely blind, um, suddenly out of nowhere, like the first time it happened, I was talking on the phone with one of my friends and I was walking around the house, like picking up stuff or something like that. And all of a sudden, no joke, I went completely blind, like as if somebody had taken a really dark gray curtain and like put it over my eyes. Now, the weird thing is most like all of this eye and like most of this eye this is that's what happened but like I could still see kind of from like the corner of this eye it was like really weird but uh that happened to me and that happened to me and then uh it happened to me two more times around that same time it was like um yeah it happened to me two more times uh, one of the times it went complete, I was completely blind, completely. There was no, I couldn't see crap. And, uh, of course it went away on its own within like a couple of minutes or whatever. And, um, it was scary as hell because like, that's a symptom for a lot of things, you know? And, um, as a matter of fact, my friend I was on the phone with the first time it happened, um, she happens to be a nurse in the ER. So I was on the phone with her and it was funny because I didn't freak out when I first, when it first happened. Um, I was like, Oh wow, I can't see anything. And she was like, what do you mean? And then I was like, well, I was like, I went completely blind. It's like somebody put like a dark gray curtain over my eyes. And she was like, she started telling me that that's what happens before you have a seizure. And I was like, 
thank you for telling me that, you know, <laughs> of course I didn't go into a seizure or anything. Um, but I'm just telling you, um, I looked it up and stuff like that. I did, of course I did research and it does tend to, it happens sometimes, um, with people with anxiety, a bunch of, well, the thing is anxiety is a stress. It's something dealing, it's something it's from stress. So like, so many things can be caused by stress, like so many different symptoms and everybody is different because everybody's chemical makeup is different. So you're going to be affected differently than like me. Of course, there's a lot of people, um, who, uh, do the, who are, who are affected in like the same ways, like some of the basic ways, you know? Um, but a lot of people have like little differing symptoms and um, so not everybody's going to be the same. But like I said before, I'm sharing my own personal experiences, uh, the things that I've actually gone through, the things that I've actually had happen to me personally or like friends, my close friends that I know that do deal with anxiety. So that's that's what I share with you guys. Um, but anyway, um, sorry. I don't know where to look still. I'm still getting used to the webcam thing. I keep looking at myself. And then I'm like, no, I need to look at the camera. But anyway, um, anyway, um, okay, the blind thing was really crazy, but it was dealing with anxiety. It, it was caused by anxiety, come to find out, you know. Um, another thing that happened to me, too, uh, that's happened to me before, uh, it doesn't happen to me too often, but it does happen. Um, like, okay, let's say you're wearing glasses and you're in, like, a warm climate like inside a warm building and let's say it's snowing and like ice outside and let's say you walk outside your glasses are going to like get fogged up real quick you know like like that they'll just fog up um well um that happened to me without glasses like my actual eyes did that like a couple of times like I said it doesn't happen all the time it was very it was like one of those rare things it was like a weird thing that happened to me but like um that happened to me and it like freaked me out like I freaked out that day I remember the first time it happened I was coming out of Target and I was like why is this happening and it was cold outside but it wasn't like snowing um it was it was cold but like I, I still it shouldn't happen to your uh, your eyeball I don't think I mean unless it does I don't know. I didn't really research that one. A lot of times I do try to stay away from Google because it tends to make me worse. We all know this. So, uh, but anyway, okay. I've also had the twitching in my eye. Like my actual eye is like twitching uncontrollably for like the entire day. And, um, uh, and then, uh, that has nothing to do with eyesight though, but it has something to do with the eye. So I thought I'd just mention it. Um, and then what else? Um, uh, the blurriness, the double vision, the, um, mm, the, I don't know. Um, I know there's other stuff cause I have a lot of vision issues or I have had a lot of vision issues. Um, um, I don't remember if I do remember I'll mention it or write it down in the comments or something like that but um I do know the vision thing is kind of scary like I have it all the time and like the thing that bothers me the most with the vision is the brightness me being sensi uh, so sensitive to light um really affects me um I because it freaks me out like um whenever I was working at uh, the warehouse when I was working at Amazon I had where I would go in there and there was like bright fluorescent lights like everywhere and then all their crap is like yellow so like that makes it even worse um, so the lights like reflecting off the yellow and like all this crap and then you're having to walk up four flights of stairs and crap and you're just like okay and then there's like you're on the fourth floor and there's like yellow rails, like a couple of bars to keep you from falling over. That's it. You know? So like, it's like when I was working there, I would have like sometimes the light, Oh my goodness, it's fly. I'm going to have to kill it. Um, is, um, the light would affect me to where I would start going into a panic attack. Um, I would see the, the bright, it would like get so bright or like somebody would be talking to me and then all of a sudden, like behind them and all around them, everything just gets really bright. 
And then I'm like, wow. And I'm having to sit there and smile and pretend like everything's okay and continue our conversation so I don't look like a weirdo. But like, it happens to me. And then I'm like, um, but I'm freaking out inside or I'll start going, I'll start shaking or going into a panic attack because. I guess when I see the brightness, all of a sudden, the first thing that pops into my mind, me personally, is that I'm going to faint. I'm about to pass out, you know, and uh, because, you know, like, well, that's what's portrayed in movies and stuff. I guess I've never really passed out before, Um, knocking on wood. Uh, But um, but yeah, like you get like the bright supposedly thing and that that's my vision of what would happen to me if that were to happen so like I freak out with that I also freak out like when I go to Walmart um I hate Walmart can't stand Walmart I cannot go in there without freaking out like every time I go in there I have to like run in run out Uh, something about the lighting something about I don't know what's going on with that place but I can't do it and then when I go to the place where uh, the freezer aisle and there's all the lights in the back of the freezer aisle um freak me out. Like when I open them, like I can't, I try not, I try to only stare like at the food or try to stare at like the door. It's really, I'm, it's like, I'm consciously, constantly trying to make sure I don't have anxiety, but I have it all the time. So I mean, I don't know. You you would probably understand that. I mean, but I'm still living my life. I'm still going like today. I actually went, um, dealing with the vision thing I went out to eat um with my husband we went to Applebee's and like where we were sitting you know all the these places nowadays they have the huge windows with like where the sun comes straight in and um I was having issues with the vision thing today already because of the bright sunshine and we were sitting at a table at a booth right by the the window and um I just I focused on like looking at my husband or focused on like my food did that kind of thing, but it's so tiring because like you're constantly, it's like you're constantly trying not to have a panic attack. So you're never really relaxed. And that's what happens to me anyway. And so I I don't know why I'm going into this. I was talking about vision, but like I said, the brightness and everything, and then being by the window, I had to like, that's another thing. Whenever I go out or anything, I have to make sure like wherever I'm sitting, I have to sit in an area that where the sun isn't going to bother my eyesight or whatever. And, um, it's, it, it's annoying, but it happens. And, um, like I said, it all has to do with anxiety, like all of it. So, um, yeah, so that's it. That's all I have to say. Um, um, I hope you all are having a great day. I don't know when I'm going to post this, whenever I have a chance to have Wi-Fi. Um, I don't know about going to my mother's because I told you what happened last time I went to my mom's. Of course, I was there a really long time. Um, I might have to wait till I get to uh, the library or something, and um, and then I'll like post this or whatever. Um, and the other one, too. But uh, we'll see what happens. But I hope you all are having a great time, a great day anxiety free or as anxiety free as you can and if you are having anxiety continue on with your day like I was telling you um we went I went and paid bills today I went um did I went to the restaurant today I went and I had some anxiety when I left the house I was having anxiety a little bit here and there but for the most part everything went by okay I still had fun I was still able to sit there and conversate with my husband without like flipping out I was having a little bit of breathing issues once in a while but then it would go away you know and and I just kept trying to focus on what the here and now instead of focusing on like what what I was feeling, I guess, because I, I do pay too much attention to that. So anyway, um, I hope you all are having a great time. And uh, remember, y'all are warriors and um, just continue to be awesome. And I will be making other videos. I'm about to make another one, as a matter of fact. So, OK. Bye.